guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 3 Module 4 Lesson 4 homework. So let's get started. Number 1, Ella placed square centimeter tiles on the rectangle below and then labeled the side lengths. What is the area of her triangle? Alright, so here we are. I'm not trying. Did I say triangle? Rectangle. So here we have a rectangle. So our side lengths are 2 and 4. So since this is a rectangle, um, that means that if this side is 2, then this side is also 2 centimeters. And if this side is 4, then this side is also 4 centimeters. So now let's find the area. So all we need to do is count the square tiles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So our area is 8 square centimeters. Alright, and number two, Kyle uses square centimeter tiles to find the side lengths of the rectangle below. Label each side length, then count the tiles to find the total area. Alright, so our side length, we have one, two, three, four over here. So if this is four, then this side is also four. And here we have one, two, three, four, five, five centimeters. So then up here is also going to be five centimeters. Here we have four and five. So now I have to count to find the total area. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So our total area is twenty square centimeters. Number three, Mora uses square inch tiles to find the side lengths of the rectangle below. Label each side length, then find the total area. So here we have two inch square inch tiles, so that means this side is two inches. And that side is two inches, and this side is also two inches. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven inches, and on top is also seven inches. So let's find the area. We have seven on top, so then seven plus seven, that's seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So our area is 14 square inches. All right, in our next page, number four, each square unit below is one square inch. Claire says that the side length of the rectangle below is three inches. Tyler says the side length is five inches. Who is correct? Explain how you know. All right, so our rectangle here, one, two, three inches. So this side is three inches. And then now down here, we have one, two, three, four, five inches. So this side is five inches and up top is also five. And this side is three inches and over here is also three inches. So Claire says that the length is three inches, so, that she, so she's correct. But Tyler says it's five inches, so Tyler is also correct. So we can write, they are both correct. Because it, or like the rectangle has different side lengths. In other words, it's not a square. All right, number five, label the unknown side lengths for the rectangle below and then find the area. Explain how you use the lengths provided to find the unknown lengths and area. All right, we already know this side is two inches. So if this is two inches, then this side on the opposite side is also two inches. And up here, if it's four inches and down here, it'd also be four inches. 
So now we know that it's four inches wide or long. So then we have one, two, three. And that's two inches, so we split it in half. So we have two and one, two, three, four. If we find our area, we have one. Can okay, I write the numbers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So our total area is eight square inches. And we use the size provided to find out how many like are on each side and the lengths to find our area. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye.